Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to my gun range. It is still very hot and very dry in Texas, but besides that, got a pretty sweet little video for y'all today. So, this is what we got guys. So, I was on my gun range the other day and I found five 50 Action Express shell casings that were stuck in the dirt. And I mean, I'm talking, they looked bad. I mean, they were not in good condition at all. And I went ahead and I made the choice. I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and take these back to the house and I'm gonna get them all cleaned up and everything. And this is what I really like about reloading. Um, now reloading nowadays is not like how it used to be back then. Back then a thousand primers used to be 20 bucks or less and they were everywhere. Powder was cheap. It was everywhere. Projectiles everywhere. It's not like that no more. <laughs> uh, you're not going to cut corners nowadays reloading. I'm still using components that I, that I happened to get back then. <laughs> So, uh, still bad times we're living in. So you're not gonna cut corners nowadays. But, one thing I love about reloading is I found these five shell casings. So old, they've been in the ground, I estimate, about two years. And I cleaned them up, and look at this. It's like I brought them back to life. That is what I like about reloading. Um, you know, it's not to say these shell casings are living things, obviously, but it's like, it's just been sitting there in the dirt for two years, like, oh, I'm never gonna be used again. My life is over. No, it's not, you're brought back to life. It's reloaded. <laughs> so, but now, the now being that these five old casings uh, are about two years old, Okay, let me put it like this. So for those who reload and actually look at manuals, this 300 grain projectile is only gonna be moving out of that barrel at about 1200 feet per second. If that tells you how hot these things are loaded. Okay, but we got five shots here and uh, I'm just gonna do one at a time. So I got four magazines here. I got this one extra. I mean, these things just sit at my house. So I was like, well, instead of just doing like, you know, one, 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 whatever, we'll just, we'll load all these magazines up. <laughs> so, but yeah, I got five of these old, old, two-year-old shell casings reloaded. And uh, I'm gonna shoot them in here. I was gonna shoot outside. But I want to catch this brass and get it back and see if I can continue using it, you know? Uh, so the target I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for that circle plate. Uh, that's a, that's like around 40 yards from here. And we're going to go for that one. All right. My old Grim Reaper does jiggle, chamber just fine. Can I make it happen? I don't know. I haven't shot this in a while. <laughs> I don't know. We'll just give it a try, guys. Well, I mean, it's not funny. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. But look at that. Old two-year shell casing. And it got fired again. Wow, yeah, everything looks fine on it. I mean, I don't really see any issues. Yeah, probably use it again. <laughs> okay. Cool, I gotta get that flinch though out of my head. Okay. Like I said, it's one at a time, just trying it out. I'm gonna go for this man size silhouette.
Okay, sadly I could not hit the circle play I tried. Uh, I mean, I used to be pretty good on this. I, I, I used to be, but then again, I was shooting it a lot. So I really got my practice in and the ammo. I used to be cheap, uh, <laughs> not no more. So my practicing, I'm making excuses right now. Let's not argue, okay. That actually is true. I used to shoot a lot when it was cheaper. But anyway, hey. Old shell casings brought back to life. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all have a good day.